Alright, we're going to try to disable the seatbelt buzzer to drive me nuts on the Crown Vic. So I saw some stuff online, I'm going to give it a try. So we turn the key to where we get our lights on, but we don't start the engine. And we've got three lights here, and we're going to wait for that seatbelt light to go off. Right now the seatbelt is undone, but I've kind of got it staged here so that I can do a bunch of buckling and unbuckling. So the way this works is I'll try to wait for that light to go off and then within 50 seconds I'll buckle and unbuckle it three times, hit the headlight switch over here, and then uh, off and on, or on and off, and then buckle it three more times. We should see this light come back on and then uh, flash. Like, and then I buckle it one more time and then it flashes seven times. So we'll just wait for this light to go off and initiate the process here. It should take about a minute, so any time now, this will pop off. This light right here will disappear like that. That one will go off at any moment. Okay. Now we can go three times. One, two, three. And we go over and on and off. And then back to one, two, three. And now our light came back on and we do one more and that light flashed and now we don't get the, the parking or the seatbelt buzzer every time the seatbelt's not buckled. So I think the light will still come on to let us know to buckle the seatbelt but it won't be the annoying beep anymore. And I guess that's in the user's manual but uh, I heard about it online and just found it on a YouTube video or something. So uh, not too tough to find. That's why I posted another one here to let people know about it. So if you got a Crown Vic and you're sick of that uh, seatbelt noise, I guess that's our uh, initial one. But uh, aside from that, you'll just get the light now and no, no more buzzing. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. And normally, just driving along a little bit without a seatbelt on, it won't let me go very far. So I'm just going to, I'm not going anywhere. But now normally, I would go only a little ways and I would start to get the light and the, uh, backing it back in here. I would normally start getting the light and the buzzer for not being, for not being, uh, having my seatbelt on. So we definitely still get the light there. Light went away. So far, so good. No, uh, no buzzing. So, uh, thanks to uh, Ford for putting that in there. Super annoying. I don't know why you put it on in the first place, but at least there's a way to get rid of it. So it's turn the car to the ignition, wait for the seatbelt light to go off, unbuckle and buckle three times, headlight switch on and off three more times, wait for that light to come back on and then go off one more time and it'll blink seven times to tell you that it's no longer engaged. So if you want to engage it again, you just reverse the procedure. You, I would just do that procedure again for some reason, and then it would start beeping at me again. Um, I guess if you have an option with the uh, passenger seat doing the same thing, uh, you have to do it for each seat. So cool. Thanks again to the internet for helping me get rid of that annoying noise. That was uh, this episode of Cop, Life, Cop Car Life, and uh, we'll do more of these as we work on the car in the future. Till then, thanks for watching.